questions that I'm asked by readers on my blog or friends and family all of the time is what is the key to staying organized? How can I, as a busy mom, become more organized? Well, today I'm gonna to show you my tips, and it all starts with a plan. Hi, I'm Sharon Rowley from momofsix.com. Now, we all keep some sort of a calendar, don't we? Whether it's written down or you have it electronically. And your calendar really is where you put all of your appointments and all of the big things that are going on in your life. But what about all those things that take up the better part of your day? Things that make up your to-do list. Today I'm going to show you how to get it all organized. Now sure, you can just go ahead and keep an endless running list on paper, write it all down. But the way to really stay organized is to have your calendar appointments and your to-do list all in one place. So if you're a fan of Google Calendar or even the Max iCal, let me show you how you go about doing that. First, you want to create a separate calendar in your system. Go to add a new calendar, and let's just call it to-do list. Now this is a calendar that you probably don't want to share with your children or your significant other, unless you're trying to prove to them exactly how much it is you do every day. Now any item that you do, such as chores week after week, go ahead and add them onto this to-do list. Schedule them on the particular day of the week that you do them, and set them up to be a repeating task so that every week you know on Mondays you're going to see that note that you've got to go out to the grocery store and run your errands. For me, not only do these serve as reminders, but they serve as spacers of my time. I know I can't layer in 15 other things to do on Mondays if I know that that's also the day that I run all of my errands. Now when you're on your computer, your tablet, or your phone, and you're looking at your calendar, you can hide this to-do list calendar from your view so that you are only paying attention to items that have appointments scheduled or maybe even big projects or vacations. But when printing out your calendar each week so that you have something to work from, not only can you list all of your appointments, but you can also list all of these to-do items. Now comes the time to sit down and plan. At least once a week, Usually on a Sunday afternoon, I'll sit down, I'll go through this calendar, and I'll pencil in other things that need to get added to this list. Then once a day, usually in the mornings, right after I put the kids on this bus, I'll look at all the things that I need to complete during the course of the day, and I'll start to number them. That way I have a working order of how I would like to accomplish all of these tasks. Of course, nothing beats crossing items off of your to-do list. Now, separate from this calendar-based to-do list, I do keep a master to-do list of large projects or things that I would like to eventually get to around the house. And in that case, I'm kind of a paper and pencil kind of girl. I like to write all those things down, consult it once or twice a month, and move items from this master to-do list onto my weekly list, sometimes breaking things off into small bites so that I can actually get them done. I'm not gonna put on a Wednesday, paint a bedroom, but I might put on that day a piece of that task, such as go out and buy the paint or tape up the trim. Eventually, if I keep adding that, that project in small bites, I'll get it done. I hope that these tips will help you to gain control over your to-do list and help you as a busy mom lead a more organized life. For more tips, please come visit me over at momofsix.com. Bye for now.